again take a deep and low breath and let it go slowly be relaxed your mind is relaxing also your body determine this is my meditation time this is not the time to pay attention for past experiences or future plans you feel happiness wellness you don't have any worries troubles in your mind you are relaxing you can scan your whole body through your mind head to toes <coughs> scanning your body through your mind generate loving friendliness thoughts may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well <coughs> happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful you are feeling happiness wellness developing loving friendliness thoughts let's extend to others as i am my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings
friends on earth may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on earth may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings on earth may they be well happy and peaceful All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. This galaxy may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth may they be well, happy and peaceful. on this continent may they be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this meta development, 
let's practice mindfulness of breathing meditation mindfully breathe in mindfully breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out When you are breathing, where air is touching, it might be end of your nose, your lower upper lips, or your belly. Select at any place and keep your mind there. Watch your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in, breathe out. Peacefully breathe in, peacefully breathe out. Watch your natural breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Be aware whether it is short breath or long breath. We inhale short breath. We inhale long breath. We exhale short breath. We exhale long breath. Focus on your breath, starting point, changing and departing. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. The breath is not me, it's not mine, it's not myself. The breath is under three characteristics, impermanent, suffering and selflessness. Breath is very important to have living beings. All living beings are under three characteristics. So the breath also full with suffering impermanent selflessness. Take your time and practice mindfulness of breathing. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Try to focus on each and every moment of your breath. Whenever you notice, your mind has its meditation objects come back and start again. Breathe in, breathe out.
ದುಃಖ ಪತ್ತಿ ದುಃಖ ಭಯ ಪತ್ತಿ ಭಯ ಶೋಕ ಪತ್ತಿ ಶೋಕ ಉಂಟು ಸಭ್ಯೇಪಿ ಪಾನಿನು ಮೇ ದ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಮೇ ದ ಫಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಮೇ ದ ಗ್ರೀವಿಂಗ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗ್ರೀವ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಮೇ ಆಲ್ ಬೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಸಾಧು 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 ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ and when this announcement ah right uh i think better to save that for tomorrow the announcement let's see what okay. okay okay then we can start our q and a session <coughs> first question is what is the significance of the navaguna vela why does it have 108 beats this navaguna vela is a kind of traditional things most of uh, some traditional buddhist countries use uh, this is not something that create with the uh, using any discourses this is kind of traditional things then why does it have 108 deeds uh, there is no direct answer for that but might be according to buddhist explanations in particularly with the uh, commentary books and abhidhamma uh, there are 108 uh, ways desire can arise in your mind this is one reason might be this one reason and 108 uh, symbols was had in buddha's feet this might be another reason in in this way we can find so many reasons for that but anyway i uh, i don't know exactly why it has 108 beads because this is kind of cultural things are we uh, uh, are we as buddhist trying to let go of our ego self if we are trying to let go of our ego why are we starting our metta meditation with i that is very buffering could you please explain okay if we are trying to let go of our ego mm, why we are start in our metta meditation with i okay just forget about we don't have i can you live without i this whole world have to turn into other side if you don't use that word i this is conventional truth in conventionally yes there is with the help of all these <coughs> five aggregates we have a conventional uh, explanation saying this is me this is my this is myself this whole world depending on these three words me my myself but exactly according to eternal truth there is no such a things to that we can consider as me my myself this is just a process 
metta meditation belongs to samatha meditation practice samatha meditation directly help us just develop our concentration samatha meditation is not path for develop our wisdom samatha meditation help us to develop our concentration so metta meditation uh, we practice to develop our four qualities four qualities mean loving kindness compassion sympathetic joy and equanimity to develop these qualities tranquility is very important tranquility is the to develop tranquility is the main object objectives of our metta practice Convince, we use conventional truth may i be well happy and peaceful as i am my family members friends or relatives in here everything depending on conventional truth even though if you are using who are in my west who are in my east who are in my uh, uh, back side up and down all these are conventional there is no any existence even though when we are practicing metta we use this concept this is the nature of metta practice metta meditation is based on conventional truth so we started we use this conventional word me my i or living beings who are living near who are living far we call strong born no coming to birth in all these concept we use in metta and metta meditation we practice basically to develop our qualities through tranquility we can develop our loving friendliness compassion sympathy joy and equanimity this is the main purpose of metta practice there's one that's related to that can you practice metta and breathing meditation both together you mean in one time at the same time i think at the same time hmm i i don't think if someone can develop their concentration well both together it's it might be possible but i don't have experience in that way i always practice separately i mean sometimes most of the time i like to start with metta to develop positive energy myself and spread positive energy surrounding me and then we like to turn into practice uh, breathing meditation and it's mean samatha to vipassana okay यत्तच दिन्न महप्पल माहु चतुसु सुचुसु पुरिसे युगेशु अट्टच पुग्गल दम्म दसाते संगमिमं सरनत्तमु पेमी Could you please kindly explain the above paragraph? Okay. यत्तच दिन्न महप्पल यत्तच दिन्न महप्पल माहु There are four kind of people. you can offer things gain lot of merits offering for them chatusu supurisa yuge su atta chapugala as fears you can see four kind of fears eight individuals pugal dhammada sate sangame vansa this is the order of out of uh, sangha uh, i venerate this sangha this is the meaning of the assistance i think this coming from chatta manavaka gatha uh, 
Okay. This particular stints are directly connected with the Ratana Sutta. Chattar Yetani Yugani Hunti Te Dakkineya. This is the verses in Ratana Sutta you can connect with this stanza. Chattar Yetani Yugani Hunti. There are four groups, individually, eight kind of people, eight kind of persons. Te Dakkineya. If you are, they are they are worthy to offer things. When you offer things for them, you can gain a lot of merits. This is the meaning. Okay, there is a link uh, in previous is kind of uh, pre uh, reincarnation. What happened the time period one year between his death and rebirth in above incidents not important but curious okay uh, I did I did get chance to read uh, the whole story what that you sent to me as a link but it seems to me you're asking there might be some kind of uh, persons born in the in somewhere and then he might have started to tell about his past life experiences and telling according to those exp uh, his information there might be a gap one year gap one year between his death and rebirth in the above incident yeah the one year gap then your question is uh, rebirth in the above incidents what happened the time period one year yeah, I mean, uh, as we know, we have a lot of experience about uh, human life and very uh, few other animal living beings like animals who are with us, mostly who are with us. Those are the, the experience that we have about their age limit. We know as a human being can live 65, 70, 75, or 80, 85 uh, maximum. I mean, few up can live over 100. Very few up. Uh, then we think, okay, if someone live uh, 100 years, oh, he lived his full time period. He lived his full age limit. Uh, but if someone going to live might be, I mean, if someone can live 50 years then you think okay he may he, he didn't have uh, time to fulfill his whole span of his age limit this might be the your explanation but we don't know others other realms other creatures other living beings lifespan how much is they have as a human being, we know, particularly for uh, we have to live in our mother's womb at least nine month, nine or ten month. Then there are there there is there are two another more month. What happened with in that during during that period for that person might be. He might have, that person might have some other, born in some other realms. And then he suddenly came into uh, mother's womb. We don't know exactly what happened there. But uh, don't collect these kind of informations to say, oh, that is Antarabhava. No, that is not Antarabhava. As I mentioned before, there is no such a things that we can take as antara bhava. There might be, and he might have another time, uh, another life in different uh, uh, realm or different uh, living conditions. I 
I am asking an unrelated question. I was wondering, did Buddha in one of his lifetime learn meditation from the Jain teacher uh, Tirthankara? Tirthankara. It looked like they are teaching also gain enlightenment and clear samsara. What is the difference of Jain and Buddhism? Uh, no, in according to the Buddha's life story, he did not have any teachers who practice uh, Jain traditions. As you know, first Buddha used, uh, when he was a young boy, he went to learn Sarvamitra. Sarvamitra was the teacher who taught Prince Siddhartha. And after his renunciation, great renunciation, he directly went to Alarakalama and Uddhakarama Putta. Um, Alarakalama and Uddhakarama Putta, through these two teachers, Buddha was able to, uh, not Buddha, uh, ascetic Siddhartha was able to attain jhanas, attain jhanas. Then, attaining jhana, he did, he did not satisfy with their teachings. He wanted to find beyond that something. That's why he decided to practice himself and then he started self-mortification. Uh, self-mortification mean, means he used each and every moment to practice his meditation. This is the main purpose of self-mortification. Without eating, without sleeping, without engaging with any other personal activities, he tried to use each and every moment to practice meditation. This is the way how he practiced meditation. This is the self-mortification. Uh, so, uh, in his life story, uh, he did not meet any uh, Jain teacher to practice or to learn anything from them. But anyway, he became Buddha without having any help of anyone. Uh, Alarakalama, Uddhakarama, they were not the teach who, who taught to him to attain enlightenment. He, but uh, the uh, ascetic Siddhartha learned something from them to attain jhanas. That's it. Not attain enlightenment. That is completely different. Attaining enlightenment, Buddha himself declared he did not have a teacher to teach to attain enlightenment. And then you are asking about what is the difference of Jain and Buddhism? There are so many differences and also there are so many similarities, Jainis, Jainism and Buddhism. Uh, mainly, Bud, uh, J Jainism is kind of extreme entry uh, teachings. Uh, one thing I can mention to you as an example, they don't drink cold water. They don't walk, I mean, before they walk, they like, they, they do, they sweep the plow. Why? They don't drink cold water because they think there are so many living beings. If they drink those cold, the cold water, they uh, uh, unintentionally killing those living creatures. That's why they don't drink uh, cold water. And they don't walk without sweep because there are so many uh, living beings on earth uh, before they step on there, they want to sweep. That's why they sweep. These two uh, activities are very extreme activities. Uh, 
they had that kind of extreme mentality because they believe action is the most important not the mind physical body is the most important not the mind every action happen in according to physical body that was the very strong idea that they had but buddha said your mind is the most important mind is the leader mind is the forerunner mind is your master we do everything according to our mind that's why chetanam bikave kammam vadami chetaitva kammam karoti kamma is your volitional action volitional actions but jains believe to fulfill kammik action body is the most important part but buddha uh, did not accept it buddha buddha, buddha refused it this is the main difference between buddhism and jainism we are taught not to dwell in the past and not to not to predict the future but to live in the present moment so we are living in uh, status quo conditions how can we improve our living conditions and move forward if we only live in the present moment please and like okay perennial question. Huh? a perennial question <laughs> yes atita nanu sochanti nappa jappanti nagatta vartamane ne apenti tena vanno pasidati this is one of buddha's explanation uh, 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 this according to this explanation atita nanu sochanti past already went away no one can get back that past so if because of those uh, because of your past if you are lamenting or if you have any kind of trouble if you are not happy what you can do for that nothing atitang nanu socha nappa jappanti nagatta future is not yet why you want to think about that future so live in this present moment living in this present moment try to fulfill your duties and responsibility this is the meaning this present moment within in one nanosecond turn into uh, this present moment will turn to past moment within in one nanosecond it will pass and then it will reach future within in one nanosecond that's why buddha said live in present moment try to fulfill all duties and responsibilities fulfill in your duties and responsibility in this moment you can create wonderful future you are creating without lamenting about your past without having daydreams about your future just focus to this moment and fulfill your duties and responsibility in this moment and then you can develop your mind and happiness all buddha's teachings base on this uh, this important message all these teachings we can use benefits for this this mo- this moment uh, buddha did not mention to 
practice any of his teachings next or yesterday. This is the moment. That's why the Dhamma has a quality timelessness. Timeless. Timelessness. It doesn't have, it does not belong to just past or future. That Dhamma belongs, Dhamma belongs to this moment. So, what is, what Whatever the results we were able to achieve in past, same results we can get in this moment too. This is the nature of Dhamma. So, we don't need to do anything. Living in this present moment, try to fulfill our responsibility and duties, then we can, we can gain, we can develop every and each of our skills benefits for our future. We don't want to worry about our future if you are fulfilling your responsibilities in present. Uh, time is flying. I think that's enough for today. Uh, we can wind down today's session. Uh, thank you very much for your participation and this is the time to share merits with all living beings as we do first we can think about deities who, who protect this world and all other celestial beings May they reduce these merits, may they reduce in these merits, may they have wonderful, peaceful, happy life, having that aspiration, say, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Around the world who are suffering from coronavirus or any other sicknesses, by the power of all these merits, may they all be well, happy and peaceful. May they recover soon, having that aspiration, we all can make blessings upon them, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May we all be well, happy and peaceful. Whatever the wishes we have, all your wishes come true by the power of these merits. And may we all be able to attain ultimate, ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration. We can share merit with saying sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. By means of this meritorious deeds, may I never join with the foolish. May I join always with the wise until the time attain. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, May the all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good night to West. Have a wonderful day to East.